There is blue sky shining through. Look at that. Just been pouring rain here for so long. One thing we like to do is come and get something to drink in the morning. Just come to the gas station. Oh my gosh, everybody. It's starting to get cold and dark here. Look at this. It's not even that late. And it's, I, mean, I guess it's not that cold yet. It's going to get colder. I keep putting the hand, my finger on the mic in the back. So I have to like try not to do that. So anyway, dark, rainy, windy, not quite cold yet, but dark, windy, rainy. They like to do Halloween here. So look at that. This is what downtown Juneau looks like at night. Beautiful. Those mountains. Well, it's safe to say that it's looking like winter once again, but like maybe not quite winter yet. There's some snow on the top of the mountains coming in. It's cold, still rainy fingers are numb it just gets so depressing during the winter because it just gets so cold and so what do we do we go and we eat ice cream ice cream sandwiches mmm doesn't this cookie seem just a little bit on like the underdone side I mean it's supposed to be like a little bit golden brown Anyway, hmm. There it is. The end of the road sign, 1,000 feet. And there it is, the end. I should probably get some gas here pretty soon. But we're kind of on the end of the road here. Wow. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get a new camera soon here. So I don't know how well the quality is going to turn out of this particular video because everything seems to glitch out pretty good when things get old, especially cell phones like this cell phone. I mean, it was, it was pretty bad to begin with. It was a cheap one. So anyway, we're going to just check out the rest of this end of the road. I can't believe I've never been out here before. Pretty awesome. Well, look at this. Should I trust it? I don't know. It looks kind of rickety. Maybe we'll try. Oh my gosh. This looks really scary. Okay, we made it across. This thing is like really, really loud. But it goes like all the way up. Yeah. Of course, wearing crappy shoes again. Imagine living right there. Everything here is just incredibly beautiful. Everywhere you turn. Everywhere you turn. Pretty soon there's going to be snow on the ground. 
if you love walking in the mud, this is the place for you. Look at that. Yes. Mud. I love it. This one is like a little more of a trail than the other one was. But I think we're still having a good time. It is like a beautiful day. Oh no, an obstacle. What do we do? Oh yeah. We showed that tree who's boss. I didn't bring anything to eat this time around. Probably a good thing. Because I'm just here for a little quick little trip this time. And I've been eating too much lately, so I'm starting to get fat again. Again. Fatness just happens to the best of us. Something that sometimes we just can't avoid, but sometimes we just choose to eat a little more than we should. I guess that's my case. Some ruins. Oh my gosh, look at this mud. This is nuts. I don't know how far I'm willing to go through all this. But we'll go as far as we can. Whoa! Yeah, I think this is as far as I'm going to go. Just because I don't really want to try to trek through all that stuff. Plus I'm by myself here in the wilderness, so... Probably not a good idea. So I'm just going to play it safe and stop here and turn around. There's the view of the channel. Beautiful. As I navigate through this mud, the questions come up several times of why did I move here to Alaska? And the truth is that I just felt like I wanted a change in scene. And I'd lived in California like most of my life. And I've always wanted to check it out. I've been offered several jobs up here over the years, but always turned them down for some reason. And I finally got offered a job to teach some music up here. So I accepted it, which was cool for a little bit. You know, the whole COVID thing just hit everybody like really, really hard. Um, especially in education. And so I ended up stepping away from teaching, which was really a huge decision on my part because for, for several years I'd been kind of living, breathing teacher and doing whatever I could to try to push music and, and have everybody have a good experience doing music and, and doing great things together and having that community doing the music. And, and it just was a huge decision to say, look, we're going to set aside the music for now and do something else. So I went ahead and started doing other things. I worked at Domino's for about two years. I was a driver. I also was a manager for a little bit, assistant manager and then a, and a been a general manager for a little while. But that didn't work out either. Made some good friends, though. That's the good point. Yep. You never know where you're going to meet your best friends. You know what I mean? You just sort of find them. Some I'm not so sure about, but some I'm pretty sure that I've scored some lifelong friends without a doubt anyway now i'm an insurance agent can you believe that so i sell insurance and then on my off time i get to perform play music i'm still blowing lead trumpet right that's pretty cool isn't it i mean there's only one big band in town and i'm blowing lead trumpet in it so that's pretty awesome I think it's a little dumb being here alone, but luckily I saw some girls walking down this trail, so maybe they'll save me if I need to be saved. Good old girls. I just moved into this cool little house and set up my studio downstairs 
for doing more music and stuff. So hopefully we'll see more music coming out of me this year, or at least next year, 2024. Maybe some good Christmas things this year. We'll see. Just depends on how inspired I am. Here's this rickety old bridge again. It'll be interesting to see how long this will last. They've probably been repairing it throughout the years, but it's definitely seen better days. Lots of fun. Whoa. Whoa, that was really scary. Just beautiful. Look at that. So anyway, yeah, relationships are tough. They're hard to work out. I've always had issues just in, you know, figuring out how to get along. And it just wasn't something that I was happy with at the moment. So... And I try to convince myself maybe I have regrets of it, but then it comes back to the logic of, look, I have to do what's right for me. And coming to Juno seemed to be right for me. And frankly, it still does. So that's why I'm still here. I've had several opportunities to leave, but everything keeps telling me to stay here for some reason. Just pulling me here. I mean, it doesn't hurt that I have people that want to invite me into their families and spend time with them. I'd really like to think it's because people enjoy my company. That's why you're still here watching me now. So anyway, I'm really glad you joined me on this trip right now. And uh, I'm tired. So I'm gonna go home now, go find something to eat. So anyway, like and subscribe like always. I wanna hear from you all. We'll talk to you soon. Hmm. Hearts everywhere. These people are so loving. Huh.